This now touristic area used to host up to 20 working water mills and 21 mill dams. The dams and mills spread throughout the path make for an eye-catching attraction. And although the mills have been out of service for over 60 years, we could still find footpaths connecting them to the trail. This can be appreciated throughout the journey as remnants of days long past, while providing individuals with a sense of reflection and nostalgia. We could also find trail markers at key spots, which provided us with historical background and understanding. These, along with the artificial ponds and the maintenance of archaeological heritage and footpaths, are under the supervision of the Rivoling Valley Conservation Group. It has been through their intervention that we could appreciate how well Rivoling has done in preserving its essence. Historically, Rivoling Valley provided water power to Sheffield, but this changed when steam power and engines became available. This change meant that beautiful woodland would become available for visitors like us to engage with a space that not only holds historical significance, but provides us with a chance to interact with nature as closely as possible. An experience close to what Barnett would describe as feeling as though you belong to the landscape and not as if it's out of place. Ravaging the remaining archaeology lies the natural chaos of the landscape. Rivlin Valley thrives in biodiversity and exhibits a variety of different wildlife and plants. During our journey, we caught sight of some of the wildlife in the valley, plenty unexpected in the stillness of winter. However, the trail is known for hosting species such as the pipistrelle trail bats and a quantity of butterflies and birds, many of which are away during winter time. The trees and shrubs of the valley fill the journey with a stillness, characteristic of the season. Many leafless coniferous trees opened up to the skies and let the light through and down into the pathways. Trees such as the threatened ash, the oak, alder, and many more local flora packed the place with greenery, many evergreen plants maintaining that enchanting appearance throughout the trail. This is not to forget the river alongside the footpaths, either side of the trail offering a completely different experience, the calm, quiet, and serene path and the wild, thrashing side of the river, sheltering aquatic life and attracting birds which eat said wildlife in the self-sustaining ecosystem. The day we visited was a relatively warm and sunny day for winter, in which the river was blue, reflecting the sky. The topography of the valley, as well as the dense vegetation, was shielding the wind, allow the trail to just have a glimpse of sunlight. The trail was filled with adventure, bridges, jumping rocks, plant tunnels, and of course the river to paddle or swim in summer. The path itself was a part of the landscape and allowed ourselves to be absorbed in nature. To borrow Barnett's words, a sense of losing yourself to the world around you exists here. The path and the trail were not restrictive for mankind, but natural. The ground was uneven with rocks and tree roots, and its width allowed no more than two people to walk next to each other. With vegetation that covered all the land, apart from the path and river, a sense of exploring the woodland evokes. With the topography and the dense vegetation, most part in this trail were enclosed, with some open spaces which acted as an escape and gave a breath of fresh air in the openness. Taking a breath there and going back to the woodland tree. We believe that's the experience for many people. Spoon says that telling new stories and creating new landscapes are some of the elements needed for recovering and renewing the language of landscape. From this point of view, Rivling Valley was recreated successfully. Although its role came to an end, this place did not end up in the wasteland, but as a place to tell the story of Sheffield's rich nature and history, in which we had a chance to experience nature's constant change under the mercy of weather and time. Thank you.